Easter Rising, Volunteer Patrick Kelly, 1896 to 1945. I am a daughter of Patrick Kelly, and the following account is of his part in the Easter Rising of 1916. Patrick Kelly was born in 1896 and resided at 5 Cardoff Lusk, a member of Lusk Company 5th Battalion Dublin Brigade, known as the Fingal Brigade. He joined the Irish Volunteers in 1914 when a company was established in Lusk. He mobilised on Easter Monday near the Old Hall on the Green Lusk, known locally as the Band Room. The Lusk Company caught up with the main swords body near Finglas and camped there on Monday night. Patrick was on guard that night at the camp when Commandant Thomas Ash gave him a dispatch to take to Patrick Pearce and the GPO. He took another dispatch back from Pearce. On Tuesday, a dispatch arrived from Connolly to Ash, instructing him to send reinforcements to the city. Patrick Kelly was one of the 20 men chosen to go to the GPO. From there, 13 of the Fingal men were charged with reinforcing the Mendicity Institution, situated on the South Quays, opposite the Royal Barracks, now Collins's Barracks. Connolly ensured the men were properly armed and issued them with two grenades each. According to Peter Wilson, Connolly's parting words to the men were, I don't think you will all get there, but get as far as you can. Wilson described how this group avoided enemy fire and reached their destination without loss. They advanced up Abbey Street to Capel Street, where they were fired on from Parliament Street. Dashing across the street one by one, they went into Mary's Lane, where they were confronted by a barricade. They continued over the barricade into Smithfield, crossing another barricade at Church Street. They crossed the Liffey at Bow Street and back along the quays to Bridgefoot Street. The British military was stationed at Christ Church. The volunteers took the back lanes and yards into the Mendicity Institution. The objective of this garrison, now totalling 28, was to delay the troops from the Royal Barracks reaching the forecourts. They withstood fierce machine gun fire and grenade attacks from the Royal Fusiliers, with two men, Richard Staines and Richard Balfe, seriously injured, until it was surrounded by approximately 400 troops on Wednesday. The Mendes City garrison surrendered on Wednesday of Easter week and the prisoners were marched to the Royal Barracks and held in Arbor Hill Prison until court-martial in Richmond Barracks. They were sentenced to death, later commuted to three years penal servitude, except Commandant Sean Houston, who was executed in Kilmainham Jail on the 8th of May 1916. The others were taken to Mount Joy and then deported to Dartmoor Prison in England. While in Dartmoor, Patrick was in the company of Eamon de Valera. Perhaps they shared a cell. Thomas Ashe was also imprisoned there. Later, Patrick was moved to Lewis Prison and then to Maidstone Jail. Early in June 1917, a prisoner's amnesty was agreed and Patrick was on the move again to Pentonville Prison, from where he was released with many other prisoners on the 17th of June 1917 and sailed to Dublin on the 18th of June, where they received a hero's welcome. He rejoined his unit and continued on active service during the War of Independence and the Black and Tan War. His two older brothers, Matthew and Joseph, remained with the Lusk Company during Easter week and fought at the Battle of Ashbourne under Commandant Thomas Ash. Matthew was sent to Wormwood Prison and Joseph to Knutsford Prison until transferred to Frangach. Patrick married Rose Brogan from the Commons Lusk in October 1921 and had six children. He was a cycle mechanic and later became an electrician. They had two shops at the square in Lusk Kelly's Corner. Patrick Kelly passed away on the 28th of March 1945, aged 49 years, and is buried with his brothers in St. Macklin Cemetery, Lusk, County Dublin. 
the family got interested and started digging for information. You know, we didn't know a lot because, well, I don't, my father died when I was eight, but all my brothers and sisters said they never talked about it very much and they didn't know a lot about his volunteering and uh, being active in service. So we started to dig for information and we got different things in the archives and on the internet and all. And so then I just got all that information and just put it together into this little story. Oh, very good. 